What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. And guys, today we're talking about Christian Walker. Now, for some of you brothers and sisters who don't know who Christian Walker is, Christian Walker is the son of legendary running back Herschel Walker. Now, Herschel Walker, like I said, was a you know one of the better running backs that I, you know that I've seen when I was coming up as a child. Um, you know, very very athletic guy. And Herschel Walker was married to. Um, I don't know if the lady was white, but her name was Cindy Grossman. And from this union came the son, Christian Walker. Now, Christian Walker is, you know, how can I say this without being mean? He's very vocal. I'll put it like that. Right? Very vocal. And if you think that Brandon Tatum is opinionated, if you think that Candace Owens is opinionated, nobody on the conservative right that will be considered, you know, African-American or, or mulatto, uh, nobody is as, uh, <laughs> as opinionated as Christian Walker, right? Christian Walker is very quick to blame the victim, uh, if you will. Now, um, he did the same thing with George Floyd. He does the same thing. A lot of times he's a uh, straight up, you know, Donald Trump supporter. Uh, he has a, a, a pretty interesting following on Twitter. But, you know, even Tucker Carlson, which I'm going to talk about Tucker Carlson also, of Fox News. But Christian Walker came out in called Jacob Blake a crazy, violent criminal. All right. Uh, talked about his past and, 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 and whatnot. Now, and I knew that this would definitely happen. I knew uh, that, you know, when this shooting occurred by the police, I said the first thing that they're going to do is they're going to go and they're going to pull up this guy's uh, criminal history. I, I mean, I was for certain that they were going to do in the end. And that now we're seeing that this is what they're doing. Now, we know that Mr. Blake was left paralyzed, okay, from the shooting when he was shot in the back. He was shot seven times, okay, during that domestic 911 call. And, um, you know, apparently he had a warrant out for his arrest. But I want to let you listen to what Christian Walker said on his Twitter. And then after that, I am going to come out and basically read his tweet and I'm going to respond to what he had to say. Let's play that video. Another incident of a crazy, violent criminal refusing to follow directions from police officers and getting consequence for it. Oh, but since he's black, BLM terrorists think they get an excuse to go burn and loot a city to the floor. BLM, change your name to Criminal Lives Matter because all you really do is destroy black lives and black communities when you go burning cities to the ground in the name of violent criminals. Jacob Blake, oh yeah, he was a felon sexual assaulter, he was a domestic abuser, and he had given cops trouble in the past. There was a warrant out for his arrest. Show us the body cam footage. You're not pulling another George Floyd with us. He should have followed directions and we wouldn't be in this situation. All right. So you, you heard what he had to say. Okay. And um, I, I, I want to talk about this. I used to be somewhat opinionated about, um, you know, African-Americans encountering the police when I came on YouTube. There were some shootings that I felt justified. There were some that I did not. But I will say on those issues, whether it's justified to some or justified not, I am always silent on those things, right? 
And the reason why it is, is because of staying on cold. Now, from the video that I saw, I didn't see that this was justified at all. But you know, there's uh, some people like Christian Walker who believes that, and if you can, you know, I'm gonna read his post here. Jacob Blake was a criminal who refused to follow directions from our law enforcement. Listen to police and you won't be consequenced. Oh, but since he's a black terrorist group, hashtag Black Lives Matter, think they've got an excuse to burn Kenosha down. Rename yourself Criminal Lives Matter. So I, I want to talk about this because Christian Walker, I, I don't know if he identifies himself with uh, the black race or African Americans, but you know, one of the things that I think that we have a problem with as black people is that we are so quick to trash our people in front of everybody else. And you know what? Typically I would call Christian Walker a bum. I would I would I would I would trash him. But this guy is so pathetic. You know what I mean? And you know, I clearly I don't even consider, you know, and I I got like Christian Walker. I really don't even consider him black. You know, I wouldn't even give him that much energy. At least the people that I drag on here, I at least will do that because they're black and I at least like them and I will at least give them that energy to disagree with them. Somebody like this, I just don't have no energy for. It's even coming out in this video. And to be honest though, we have black people who feel like this. And it's, and it's sad. It's sad that you can't even roast. It's sad that people would even come out and say something like this. And, and I'm gonna tell you other groups will never, ever, 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 no matter how guilty their people are, they will always stand up for their folks. Always. Always. Even if the man was resisting arrest, does he deserve to get shot? Does he? Does he? No. He doesn't. No person deserves what ha to be paralyzed. The police have, uh, you know, and it's, uh, it's always blaming the victim. Like if the black person dies, he then deserves it. The man has been paralyzed. He deserves it. He was unarmed. He was deserved. It. There are other ways of dealing with, and you know, and you have these people who just hate the black race, unfortunately. And this is why with conversations with people like this, compromise people like this, you cannot debate these people. You cannot talk about these people, you know, because they're going to always look at the opportunity to blame a black person. And even if he did have any kind of felonies in the past, what did that have to do with him getting shot seven times? So he didn't want to leave, so what? There are other ways you handle that. And there are cases where, you know, you have people complying with the police. I've seen their brother complying with the police in South Carolina, they still shot him. Didn't kill him, but they shot him. And you know what, we're in a position where, uh, family, a lot of brothers are lost. You know, I even see some black men uh, that will come out there and, you know, they will say, well, that's what he gets, you know, play games, you know, uh, stupid prizes and all that stuff. I, I mean, this is what we're talking about. And that's the situation. That situation. So I, I just want to, um, you know, talk about this. Subscribe, hit the bell. It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. It's an episode of the Celebrity Jump. I, I really thank you for, you know, all that you're doing. Subscribe at the bell and, um, Ah, it's a tough one, man. Peace out, guys. Check everything out for the uh, top of my um, pin to the top. It's so sad, man. I just, ah, peace out.